guys, it's Megan. It's Monday, it's my day off, and so I'm wearing my Anchorman shirt. I love days off because then I can just wear like stupid t-shirts or like really dress up instead of just being like in boring work clothes. So I love my days off and um, I've realized that on my days off I often like gravitate towards the same exact look every day I have off because when I go to work um, I try to keep a more neutral, more, you know, work appropriate and I am in retail and deal with a lot of people so I don't want, you know, there's like perceptions that people take on like wearing dark makeup and blah blah blah. So anyhow, I try to keep it pretty neutral, pretty light. Um, so then on my days off, I like to go a little bit crazy. So the look that I pretty much always reach for is using the Chanel Illusions Dombre in Illusoire, which is this beautiful purple, sparkly, amazing, amazing, beautiful eye product. It is so gorgeous and basically as many days as I can remember that I've had off, I have reached for this look. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. It's like a glam Chanel purple smoky eye. It is super easy to achieve, but it is so beautiful for if you just want to have a glam look just day to day or if you're going out at night or something, this would be so beautiful. So I already did my um, like foundation stuff just because all I do is like mix a ton of different things I'm trying to use up together and um, it doesn't really have to do with this tutorial. So I'm going to start with my eyes. I have them primed already with my Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion, which is like a skin tone. I take it all the way around my eyes and underneath my eye. Then I use a cream shadow first. This is the Mally Evercolor Shadow Stick in Twilight. You might not need to do this and of course there's freaking weed whackers or whatever. Let me just close my window. Oh my gosh. Seriously, every, every time I'm trying to do something, they are out there. Okay. So you might not need to put a cream shadow down. Um, I do even under the Chanel Illusion Sombre just because they really, the Chanel really creases on me if I don't take like all these preliminary steps to um, to wear it because I don't know it's like the formula is really thin or something so I just um, blend out the cream shadow with this Real Techniques essential crease brush and it's a synthetic brush so it just blends it out really nicely and if you need to use a cream shadow under this look it really doesn't matter what color you use because the Chanel is dark enough that it'll cover um, no matter what you put under it. So I just like blend this out and make sure it's like nice and even. And then I have to go and put powder and then we're gonna put the Chanel. So I've recently discovered that Quarry by MAC or you could use Tees by Urban Decay is a perfect complement under on the Illusoire. So I just take a little bit of quarry and just run this over where we put that cream shadow. And again, this won't really like make a difference in the color or the look, but for me, for the lasting power, all these steps are really, really essential. And you can also like use this to sort of like make a shape or like diffuse the color. So then underneath the Illusions Jambre. It just has a little more depth. It looks a little more polished. So, um, you can do this step or you don't have to. It is up to you. Then, time for the Shining Star. This is such a beautiful product. I love this so much. And you could um, apply it with your finger. I do that a lot. But I realized that the Sony Kashuk um, 116 brush, which is like a domed, like dense shadow brush, which is synthetic, works really nicely with it. So I just sort of sweep my brush in there. And oh my gosh, like just in the first like second, it is so beautiful. And you don't need a lot of product to like make a big impact. Like, oh my God, look at that. 
it is so so fantastic so I just like spread it all over my eye area go into my crease basically just put it all over the eye if I was going out at night, I would probably put it underneath my lash line, but I sort of want to keep it a little bit more day appropriate because I am just going to be like running around and stuff and I don't want to have like a full blown like nighttime smoky eye. But if I, I'll probably wear this this weekend. I'm um, going to Philly to see Jacob and um, my college roommate Chloe and her boyfriend and I'm so excited. So I'll probably do this look and like put it all around my eye to make it more like night appropriate. So, like I said, I just like blend it all over my eye, into my crease. It's just the easiest look, but it's like so beautiful. And you could do this with any of the Chanel. Um, this is just the one that I have. And then I like to just take the brush that I use with Quarry, or you could use a like clean eyeshadow brush, like more fluffy, and just blend out those edges so it's not like just a harsh line and so this just sort of like blends it out diffuses it a little bit and of course I like to just go over and add a little bit more sparkle with another layer and basically you're done with your eyeshadow like you could do this so quickly if you were like in a rush and you like didn't realize you were having a fancy occasion or something you would just like slap this on and you would be set because it looks so beautiful so that's basically it for the eyeshadow but um liner I think is also important with this look at least for me I really like liner with any look so um the Urban Decay 24 7 in Rockstar is a beautiful complement to this um Illusions Dombre because it is like a purpley um purpley brownish color it just looks really really nice and complimentary with this look so I have enjoyed pairing those together so I just do my normal liner like thicker on the outside and thinner on the inside keeping it really close to my lashes and this is also something that you could like play up if you're going out really smoke out um, this part or you don't have to use liner at all. I just, I feel like I need liner. It's like my crutch and I think it helps. I don't know. I just like my eyes better if they have liner like that. And then I use the um, Stila Stingray smudge stick liner on my tight line. So I think I've showed you guys this before, but I like look, wait, what do I do? I like look I hold the mirror down and like sort of open my eyes like this and like wiggle the liner in between my lashes from underneath and go on your upper waterline. So that just makes it a lot easier for me than like looking straight into a mirror. I don't know how you would even do that. And if I was using this for a nighttime, I would also go on my waterline, but today I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put a nude there. I did that the other day and I really, really liked it, so we'll do that today. So just like go really carefully. This step is really like, I don't know, it looks like you shouldn't, you shouldn't even do that. Like, it looks like someone would do that to, like, torture you or something. I just watch way too much Scandal, and I finally got caught up. So, next week, I'll be able to watch. Or this week. Oh, my God. So, like I said, I'm going to use a nude liner on my waterline. I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalize. So, um, I saw that someone do this. I actually have never done this. Let's try it right now. I'm going to take a Q-tip and, like, wipe off my waterline that is supposed to help make it like stay longer so we'll see so I just carefully wiped off my waterline with a q-tip and then just apply the nude liner oh no I got a whole chunk like right in the corner of my eye 
Okay, that was freaky. Okay, I don't like putting nude in my waterline usually. I think it looks creepy, but whatever. It looks good once you do like mascara and stuff. So there is that. So the eyes are basically done. Oh my God, I feel like weird. Like I got dizzy all of a sudden. Okay, let's see. What else do we need to do? We need to put under eye concealer. This is a really important step, I think, for any eyeshadow look. It just cleans everything up. So this is the um, Neutrogena Brightening Eye Perfector in Fair. You can use whatever under eye concealer you like. I just love this one. So I put that under my eyes and then like blend, like sort of pat and blend and like go right under your shadow and sort of like crisp that up if you want to. I usually want to because I think it looks more neat and I like how it looks, but you can do whatever. Isn't that like a theme? Just do whatever you want. This is just how I do it. I'm not saying this is right or wrong. This is just what I do. So take that as you will. So I just blend it out. This is a Real Techniques setting brush. This is an amazing under eye concealer brush. Also good for like highlight. Um, probably also good for contouring. Real Technique brushes are just amazing. So I just blend that out, put it around my nose, and I don't know, it, it just makes a difference to me that it just like, I don't know, it cleans up underneath so all the attention is like on the really pretty eye makeup. So then, usually I do mascara like last, so I am using my Stila Bronzing BB Cream as cream bronzer. This is the last day I'll be able to use it if you guys watched my... Um, Project 10 Pan update yesterday, I mentioned that. So I just take a little bit on a Q-tip, put it like right in the hollows of my cheeks, and then take an e.l.f. small stipple brush and like blend this up. And I put it around my hairline. I really wish I would have known how good this product worked for this like in the summer because this would have been so awesome to like keep my bronzer on all day. And then I take just, um, this is the e.l.f., I mean, Real Techniques blush brush that we're gonna use for bronzer and I just blend that out. And then I do obviously the same thing on this side. So now that product is used up, yay. Love having empty products, so. Like I said, I just blend up, not down, because you don't want the shadow. Like, because this is more orange, you don't want your whole face to be, like, orange. So, I just try to blend up, not down, and then take this and really blend it in. Okay, then I take my Physicians Formula Bronze Booster and just get on that same Real Techniques blush brush, bronze up my face, so it's kind of like layering. How I do my makeup is basically all about layering because I layering really helps everything last a lot longer. I take that down my neck as well. Okay. Then for blush, since I'm trying to use this up, Elf Candid Coral. That's what I pretty much use every day. And I repressed it, so it's like a lot more powdery. So I have to be more careful. So then I blend that out. And I don't, I haven't been using a highlight for like weeks. I don't know why. So, that is that, I think. Then I do my eyebrows and I use the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil in Auburn. 
And I just use the spoolie on the one end to comb through. And then I use the pencil just to put little strokes in and make my brows the right color. I don't really need to like fill in my brows because I do have like full brows but just to match the color of my hair there's like a big difference when I do this and when I don't so I just blend 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 and make sure it's not outside my eyebrows I really like this pencil this is probably my favorite brow product I've ever used just because it's really easy for me and I think that this pencil would work well for people like me who like already have full brows so you don't really need to draw on your brows you just like either want the color to be um a little bit different or I don't know I don't think this would be perfect for someone who needs to draw like itty bitty little hairs to make it look like those are their brow hairs because this is not nearly as fine as the brow is because it's a pencil but for me it works really really well but I can see why the brow is is essential for other people okay mascara I'm still using my Giorgio Armani seeing how many days this week I can get out of it before it dies on me but this is really a wonderful mascara and I never want it to die so for this look well with basically all of my looks I just apply shit tons of mascara and that's what I like and I think that it's really pretty with a glam Chanel look so just apply as much mascara I would probably apply like pretty false lashes or something if I was going out with this look. I saw this really pretty pair from Urban Decay on um, Nordstrom's website because Nordstrom just started carrying Urban Decay, at least on their website. And I think the lashes that I saw were um, the perversion lashes and I really, really want them. I think that they look beautiful because they're like fluttery um, but still really full. So they are something that I'm like intrigued with and have on my wish list now because they just look so pretty so I don't really use false lashes a lot I know some people like wear false lashes every day and I give them major props for that I am not good at false lashes I'm sure you would get good if you use them every day but that's why I rely on mascara so much. Like, I expect a lot from my mascara. So, I think this Giorgio Armani one is awesome. And is doing really well. Like, all the way to its dying day. So, um, I just love this mascara. So, now I don't feel like the nude in my waterline is as, like, horrifying. Because, like... For me, if I do my um, waterline liner before my mascara, it just looks so much more natural. I could never put it in now because it just looks too intense for me. So that's that. I have everything done but my lips. I think that a nude lip looks really nice with this look. So I'm using my Too Faced Look Creme in Nude Beach, which is my favorite nude of all time. like something on my lips. Ew. Gross. Okay, so this is just like a perfect nudie pink color for me. I really, really love it. And um, so yeah, that is the final look. Usually I wouldn't have my hair up, but I showered this morning. I didn't shower last night like I should have. Um, 
so it's not really I don't look my best with my hair but I really love this um, eye makeup look and I just wanted to share it with you guys because I have been reaching for it so much and I think that it's a super pretty look for if you're like me and you like being glam day to day or if you want a special occasion really pretty like Chanel smoky eye look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you're having a wonderful Monday and if you're at school or work I hope that this week flies by for you. That is always the worst when a week goes by slowly. So I hope that this week goes really fast and um, I hope that you have something for next weekend to look forward to. So I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. I'm gonna have a video up every day this week so I'm excited about that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!